Greetings and welcome to what is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Now, yes, this is another mobile game and it is Square Enix's third attempt at making a proper Final Fantasy game on mobile devices. The first one being All the Bravest, which was, which was really a whole lot of mess. And then there was Record Keeper, which was okay, I guess. But Brave Exvius seems to have finally catched or caught the feeling of what people wanted from a Final Fantasy game. So without further ado, let's go in and show you what the game is about and what it entails and all sorts of all the interesting stuff that it has. Okay, so welcome to the home screen. Now, as you can see right off the bat, they finally decided to go back to uh, well, some very nicely drawn sprites all the way back from the original Final Fantasies. Although, truth be told, they do have quite a bit of detail on them. They move, they have, act well, they have all those idling poses. But anyway, so what is the story about and is it anything good? Well, the two uh, swordsmen you see right there below Terra in her Magitek armor, and yes, you can get Terra and Terra normally in her. Well, there's Terra normal, and then there's Magitek armor Terra right there. You get her from just starting to play the game, they gave it to her. But anyway, those are your two main protagonists. Those are Rain and. Uh, what's your other name again? Yeah, I still don't remember their complete names. They are. Oh, and Laswell. Now, as you can see for the moment, or maybe you can, or maybe you can't. This is technically a card collecting game in the sense that you can collect characters from pretty much every other game, every other Final Fantasy game out there. Now, I did take a look into what is available, and the only game, Final Fantasy games, that don't have characters available in this game are Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and X. All the other Final Fantasies have, have characters inside the game that you can summon with stones. Now, as you can see there, I have 3,125 Lapis, that is the equivalent of Dragonstones from, from Dragon Ball Dokken Battle, and the summoning requirements, as you can see for one character from this featured banner, is actually quite steep. Now if you, we take a look over here, we also have our little friend summons here, these are the more general lower rank units. They can be okay for starting the game out, but usually you use them to feed them to other units and level them up. So in that sense, it is very similar to most other games that use uh, a card collecting aspect. So as you can see over here, if I wanted to enhance any of my units, right now I have no units that I can sacrifice to them, but that is why most of the units that are in my party over there at the top are already max level, except for Rain over there in the middle left. Now the interesting part here is that it follows a very similar system to Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, in that all cards have a rarity assigned to them, Right here, let's see, can I see it here? Give me a second here. There should be a view units. Here we go, view units. Let's see you here. Now, as you can see right there, right above her name, Sarah, she is a three-star unit. Now, she started off as a two-star unit by Garter to Max level, and then awakened her, as it's called in pretty much every other game, and she moved up to three stars. So, like most other games, you can, rank, uh, you can go up one rarity and increase their base stats. Now, the interesting thing about Rain and Laswell is that they have multiple awakenings so that they can they start off as a two star units but you can awaken them all the way up to six star units which is the most powerful units in the game now if we go back to the summoning menu right over here you will see that kefka gobas and chizuru all are level five uh, units and they are pretty powerful if we're completely honest especially gobas he has a big aoe attack as a limit break very fancy so, the protagonist going up all the way to 6 stars is definitely something nice. Now, aside from that, we also have friends over here. And something interesting that I found is that you can send and receive gifts uh, throughout the day to anyone on your friend list. And as you can see over here, right now I can't send anything, but here, if you click there, you can tell your friends what you want them to send you. You can t ask for stones, for gil, for friend points. And right now I am doing a quest that requires me to gather water stones, so that's what I'm asking for. And let's see, we also have a friend request over here. Hey, is that Pinello? I think that is. I think that's Pinello from Final Fantasy XII. And we'll accept them. He is Asian, so the chances of him being extremely addicted to this game are high. But anyway, enough talk. You want to see the battle system, and that is exactly what we're going to do. So let me just check out the quests I have currently. You can pick up quests in a well, in walkable towns. Let's see, Lydria, Fulham Pass. Now, I did try this earlier the no last night, and I did get my butt kicked by the final boss. But anyway, let's go over here. 
Now, there are two types of maps. The maps down below are just a series of battles where your units maintain the damage and the resources that they kept from the first one, and proceed daily down the line, and get experience, some items, and then once you beat the last battle, as you can see there, you, well, you win. And then there are exploration maps, as it says, full and pass exploration, which is what we're going to do right now. And like in pretty much every other game now, you can bring along a friend. However, what we want is somebody with a, that is extremely powerful to help us out with the final boss because he is actually pretty tough. So do we want either X-Death or this guy? Let's see, 2719 HP versus... Yeah, we're going to bring about Golbez here. He should definitely help us out a little bit. Just let me... Hold on. Yep, and as you can see, you can assign one summon to one of your units, very similar to Final Fantasy VIII. Right now, the only unit I have is Siren. You get her as part of the story, you can't miss her. So, let us depart. Now, something interesting is that they actually let you move around on exploration maps, and it's a little interesting. So, here I am on the map, and you will see, or you may or may not see, that little arrow there, that is how you move. You click anywhere on the screen and then you drag, and the character will move like that. And here is our first battle, actually. So as you can see, it is very similar to the old Final Fantasy games, and a lot of people like that. So now, if you click on a character like that, just one click on top of them, they will do their, their, their basic attack. However, if you press on them and swipe, you'll get to see the rest of their abilities, including their limb break. Now, right now, these guys are weak enough that I can just click on auto and it'll automatically attack every uh, the opponents with our basic attacks. Now, something nice is that if an enemy would die before somebody's basic attack hits, it'll go on to someone else. So, let's see if it does it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my dancer over there in the middle attacked the Quero, well, that tiger thing over on the top left, while everybody else attacked the... Well, the evil-looking tree thing, that's because the computer knows that, th that she is not going to land her hit before it dies, so they target something else, which is very useful. And that's one battle, we get a unit experience, items, gill. Let me just check my map. Okay, we're going this way. Now, there are lots of quests in here that I'm trying to complete right now. And yes, there are random encounters, however, they're not too bad in this game. Now, let's say I want to use, say, Requiem on her, and everybody else to attack. So once I queue up actions for everybody else, by hitting auto once and having them queue up their action, they will perform the action you told them. But what if you want to repeat it in every action you just did? All you gotta do is click repeat, and they will do exactly that. They will repeat the action that they did the last turn. So in that sense, the combat system can be complex if you wanted to, and it can also be extremely simple. There are also uh, chain link combos, as you were seeing there, the little number showing up. Let's see, there should be somebody right up here. Yep, there he is. Yes, he's sinner. Yes, 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 yes. Now, we also need to rescue somebody else that's at the very end of the map. Unfortunately, that battle is actually very, very tough. So, we let's see, where's our map? Uh, let's see, map, map. Okay, it is this way. So, as you can see, this game it really does evoke a lot of old Final Fantasy feelings with the sprites, the map... The, well, the top-down-ish layout, but anyway, let's go in. Oh yes, we almost filled up our summon meter. Now, as you can see there, because I only have one summon currently, that is what is represented there. I do not know if that if once you get more, well, here they're called espers. If you equip more than one esper, if you will be able to see one bar for each of each one of them. Or something else. Now, we are a little bit hurt here. Uh, let's see, it should be rain. Yeah, rain is a little bit down, so let's see. Items. Let's use a potion on them. And that should be good enough. And we are pretty much ready with most of our limit breaks, so... Oh, here you he is. Count out, yes, da 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 Here comes the boss battle I just told you about. Now, this guy is tough. Luckily, we came in with all of our limit breaks, so... Dark damage to all enemies, yes, you use yours as well, as do you, as do you. 
Now, unfortunately, you only have that boost spirit for our allies for three turns. I have no idea what that does. So you're going to do that, boost attack for everybody else. And you are going to use her, because that's what we brought you along. And here we go! So yes, as you can see, summons are going to look great in this game. Whoa, yeah. We definitely made the right choice in bringing Golbez with us. Now, as you can see, she almost got taken out completely. I can't do anything with her for the moment for some odd reason, even though it says she's still got 13 HP left. But anyway, we should be able to beat him. We, want, we don't want to take any tests, so... She can do that. Uh, fire damage on one enemy. No, you attack him normally, and then you are going to use that. And Golbez can do... He's got a lot of magic because he's very high level. Paralyze all enemies, dark enemies, and poison. Lightning damage all enemies, lightning damage all enemies, fire, drain MP from an enemy. I guess he can attack as well, and you are going to heal everybody. And let's see if we kill him. And we did! Awesome! As you can see, bringing in a high level friend, very, very helpful, because there's no reason. Un wow, 3,200 unit experience, nice. However, we are not done yet. Let's see, let's go back into the menu, and let's heal up Rain, because he really needs it. Apparently he doesn't need it, Sarah needs it. There we go, we still have our opponent, but that's what we bring him in for. Now, the final boss of this area is five bandits. They're, they have very decent, oh, hold on. I think that treasure chest is locked, so I can't open it yet. But here we go, more battles. Now, in the non-exploration maps, you're going to be stuck on this screen, and when you beat someone else, they just move along. And you do get a counter that shows you how, uh, how you're going along with all the battles, how many are left, and everything else. Ah, yes, nothing like that, absolutely destroying your enemy. And we want hooray! Uh, let's keep going forward, and uh, now we should be on... There we go, here's the boss battle. Now, in exploration maps, there are two ways to beat the level. You can either beat the boss, or find the exit. Now, currently, on the two maps that I've seen, the exit is after the boss, so that makes no sense to me. But anyway, it's time for more limit breaks. Limit breaks are ready a lot of the time. One enemy, one enemy, let's just him do a stronger attack. Mr. Goldbase, I know you have AoE magic. Lightning damage on enemies, yes. You can keep curing everybody, and Sarah, what can you do? You're also going to hit everybody. There we go. Let's see, lots of damage. Oh yeah. I am so glad I, bl I brought Gobas on, so let's just repeat everything we just did. Nyahaha! Victory! Here we go, we get a lot of fancy stuff, some money. The battle is won, continue swallowing, we shall leave because I am done with these those two quests, so we are going to turn those in. And of course we couldn't have a Final Fantasy game without that music. 5,700 unit experience. Somebody's gonna level up, oh yeah, there they go. Ah, very nice. And as you can see now, this trust bonus now, when you level up a unit with a unit of the same type, you ha they gain an increased trust, and I believe the higher the trust, the more items that you have a chance of getting after a map. Now, the best way to do that is by using a unit to level it up with itself, and that increases it by 5, and I don't, know, I don't know if there's a limit to that, but anyway, we have two quests to turn in. Now, usually you have to go into the city where you got them, and find a person and everything else. But not here. Here we can actually just go into a, our quest. Come here. Let's see. Let's see. Find the final stone to the. Uh, okay, so I'm not really sure why that quest didn't have it. But one quest I did complete it gave me the uh, option to just teleport onto the map and uh, turn it into that person. So let's enter the port city of Lodin, which is where I picked up these quests. Maybe I can do that now. Let's see. Let's go to the menu. Quest report. Uh, go here. Oh, this uh, if you you enter the map and then you click report to the client, and it automatically takes you to where they are. I am so thankful for this. 
Da 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 da, he got hurt and couldn't gather any more components. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. What did we get? Uh, since the agency look can no. Uh huh. The find the supplies and deliver them to the main marines made. Three digital circuits. Oh, and I think we already. And we already have enough to complete it, I think. Yes, yes, complete. What did we get? What did we get? A recipe, probably. Oh, a twist headband. Oh, equipment. We haven't gone over equipment yet, but I will once we turn on. Once we turn in both of these quests. Let's see. Let's turn in the other one. Report. Yes. Da da da. Here we are. He's been injured and actually mostly you. Ooh, what do we get? What do we get? A thousand gil. Yes. Now this is about equivalent to Dragon Ball's Silver Zenny, but you need to well, everything from leveling up to awakening costs you the gill. But anyway, that is that. Now, now let's talk about equipment. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not a good area. Menu. Here we go. So let's say I want to equip Brain with something new, like say that headband we just got. Now right there below his stats are the types of equipment he can use. He can use every single type of armor, he can use shields, hats, uh, mail helms, maces, uh, hammers, swords, long swords, and daggers. So that's how you know what everybody can equip. Now let's see, here is Sarai, she is my favorite character so far. Let's see, let's equip, let's see, we did just get a twist headband. Uh, attack plus 7 and defense plus 8, wow, that is absolutely awesome. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, but we need to give that, that to some of our best characters here. Whoa, he needs a lot of stuff. You! Apparently, he cannot use non... He can't use cloth armor. That's a bit of a shame. So let's give him the kid optimize, and... Yeah! Awesome! Luckily for us, there is an optimize button, so you can always equip your favorite characters with the strongest gear. And that is your equipment section. Now, what else is there to see? Oh yeah, there is the crafting menu. Let's see, uh, we'll go to items, equipment abilities. You can equip items and restock them. Unfortunately, I don't have any more potions because I only bought 10, which is unfortunate. But if we exit to the overworld, hold on. Uh, menu, how do we exit? How do we exit? Oh, there we go, the home button. Now, there is a crafting menu for materials, as you can see, for armor, for items, and for abilities. So, let's see, can we craft anything? We could make a wooden hammer, a bronze helm, oh, we could definitely make that, which I think we will. Let's craft it. You'll need it, 48. Start crafting, yes. And that's going to take four minutes. We can wait. So, let's see, what else can we do? We can craft abilities. Let's see, anything fun here? Cure and Blizzard. I think we are going to craft a cure, thank you very much. We are... But we only have one Alchrist. But we need it. We currently... Now, my dancer can cure in an AoE format, but she doesn't cure that much, so we're going to give this to her if possible. And let's see, Synthesize. What can we make out of this? Potions, which require water crystals, so no. We are not going to make potions, smoke bombs, and a magic key. I can open an ensorcerer chest or chest. Unfortunately, we lack the components for that. So yeah, that is the crafting system. Relatively simple. Although you can always buy everything else. Now, should you give us a try? Definitely, it is free. However, it will probably drain your battery. Not as much as Pokemon Go, but it will drain quite a bit of it. But let's see, we have some announcements here. Can we get more free stuff? Oh yeah, it's daily rewards. Awesome, 30 energy. And free in Ooh, nice. A thousand friend points. Awesome. So let's see. That is. That means we have six friend summons. Yeah. Anyway, let's show you the multi summon. So, pretty much like every other collectible game out there, everything is based on rarity, and let's do it. No reason. And the rarity is based on the crystals that the thing comes out of. Now, it seems I got nothing but standard units, a bit unfortunate, but let's see, two bards, I got another archer for the archer I'm leveling up, another gunner, well, another gunner for the one I'm leveling up, so, let's feed those units into each other, so let's enhance units, let's see, where are you, here is the gunner that's already maxed out, so let's feed his copy into him, 
here you are. As you can see, it says that he is going to get more trust. He's already got 10, even though I don't particularly use them. Kachink, you... And his trust goes up by 5%, so I was correct in that respect. But let's see, right now we've got three bards. I don't really think I'm going to use the bard. So let's feed all those bards to Rain. Where are you? There you are. He's only level 9 because I just recently awakened him, so let's feed you all of these guys. No, not her. We'll keep her. And as you can see, we are burning through Gil relatively quickly. Great success! Awesome! We went up 4 levels. Not bad. And that is the leveling up system. It's basically exactly like you would imagine it to be. Let's see, Awakening. Do we have any new materials? No. We need two materials that we have not even seen yet to awaken him to a 4 star. So yes, we cannot. Now, is there anything else? Uh, there is a real money shop. As you can see, you can purchase lapis to summon people, recover energy, add slots, bundles, key exchange, all that other stuff. Now, right now, I am currently hoping that relatively soon they release one of these banners, but for Final Fantasy X so I can try and get Riku. Unfortunately, I have no idea if that is ever going to happen, if at all. So I might be holding out for absolutely nothing. Now, right now, if you create an account and start playing, you are going to get, I believe, up to 4,000 Lapis, so you can do a lot of summoning, and you're also going to get a lot of new player bonuses like Magitech Armor Terra, you also get Biggs and Wedge that show up with her in her game, you get a lot of summoning tickets that you saw there, and some Lapis, and a bunch of other stuff, so it's a it is an excellent time to start playing the game, if you want to test it out. There are two announcements here, Chamber of... Oh, hello, what is this? Chamber of Crystals. Will be unlocked for our angels. Magic field dungeon, take other items and instill your. Oh! Oh, that is something I have not gone over. How to make your summons more powerful. So, if you go to the main menu and we go to here, Espers, you will see we have Siren here. Now, we can enhance her with some of the stones we get. Oh, hello! Nice, let's enhance you. Still not level 10. Do we have anything else other than those minor ones? Looks like we do not, so feed it, feed it, feed it, feed it, there we go. She reaches level 10, rest. Now we'll save the rest of them, and now we can go training. Now every Esper has this little table here, and as they go up in level they get SP, and everything else costs SP. Now I currently have her son, so Saria, Saira, or Hyper. so what is alluring air? Is there a way to figure it out? N no. So, and she doesn't do much magic damage either, so we'll give her... We could do two more of those things for more defense and more HP, which is, does, does not sound like a bad idea. And she can get Cure. Very nice. So I'm thinking we go down that route. And Cleanse. Oh, actually, no. We need Cleanse. So let's learn that. Unfortunately, that is all we can learn for now. But now, thanks to that, whoever has her equipped will get all those benefits. So now if we go back all the way to our units, as you can see, she is gaining a bonus from, I believe, the summon, or the Esper. And you can't set random uh, any unit as a leader. Hold on, come back here. Now, I do not see anything similar to Dokkan's leader skills, but whoever you set as a leader is the person that's going to appear on people's list when they are going to select a friend. So you might want to put a unit that people want to use. I have Syra there, or Syra, or what's her name, I already forgot. Because she has an AoE heal, she's also max level awakened, and she has a summon. So people tend to like people, uh, like units like that. Now I could get more powerful units if I wanted to summon them using my tickets and lapis, but I am saving them up as I already said. And that, oh, and everything is done here, excellent. Let's pick this up. We now have a bronze hell for Laswell. And we got a fin we finished a quest to do something interesting. We'll claim the 1500 gil, yes please. Let's pick up our cure ability, which is extremely needed, honestly. And we couldn't make anything else? No, okay. So yes, that is Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. It is available on... It should be available on both Android and iOS. It should be, at least. And you, can, and you can click on it to see them attack, and slash! And she goes bonk with her staff. 
and Terra does a giant magical laser there. But anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time for more... something. Later!